Hey guys, it's me again with another YouTube video. I'm taking a look at another one of Zen's builds. Uh, like I've said in my previous video about the SIG M17, uh, Trey has been a friend of the channel for quite some time and he makes fantastic music. I will again link to his music channel below uh, for those of you who would like to go check out his music itself as it's fantastic. Uh, this is his STG44. Um, same story as the uh, M17. He built this in real life as a fully functional field stripping weapon and everything. Uh, and he sent me a whole bunch of pictures of it and I took that and I built it into LDD um, to the best of my ability. Um, this one is version two of the complete one. So essentially um, his STG44 had a couple different inaccuracies to it when he uh, created it in real life um, because he was going more for the field strip functionality and everything. Uh, I took that and corrected it as best to of my ability inside of LVD. Um, I am unhappy with the actual weapon itself. Um, and the only thing that I'm actually unhappy with is the, the magazine inside. I feel like uh, extending that mag well out just a little bit and opening up the uh, magazine to a larger size uh, would fit the weapon. The magazine itself just seems to be out of proportion with everything. Um, and I would think that if I uh, were to go back through and, and fix that, then the STG44 itself would probably look uh, more accurate to a real STG44. That said, that doesn't take anything away from Zen's incredible work. Um, his STG44 field stripped um, basically to a T. Uh, so uh, a lot of extra work that I don't do for a lot of my models. Uh, field stripping is just something that I don't want to ever really get into. Um, it's a lot to think about, uh, a lot to kind of focus on, and when you're using more advanced techniques, uh, there's a lot to plan around. So uh, a huge amount of respect for a trade, clearly, for being able to even remotely do a field stripping STG44. So um, this is what it looks like inside of Studio 2.0 by Bricklink, and this is what it actually looks like inside of LVD. Um, like I said, I think uh, overall, if we were to extend uh, this mag will out and enlarge the magazine just a little bit. Um, it'd be a, a pretty good looking STG44. Uh, pretty nice, you know, four wide stock uh, inset sling portion here in the stock. Uh, we widen up to six wide. Um, tried to use a lot of the bow slopes that he was unable to for most things. Kind of came through and smoothed out a little bit. This is the bolt and charging handle, um, dust cover with the bolt down here as well. Uh, pretty detailed low receiver, pretty good looking. Um, obviously the safety fire selector is, uh, this is the safety, this is the fire selector. Uh, moving trigger, magazine release here on this side and it does come through over to the other side to work as a proper magazine release. A little bit of trunnion details here and there, uh, and handguard design as well to be somewhat comfortable towards the actual thing itself. Uh, gas block, gas tube, uh, all of that up here has been somewhat designed. Uh, and then the actual muzzle and front sight is up here. Uh, like I said, huge shout out to Trey, huge thank you as well for letting me go through and uh, reverse engineer all of this and taking some really high depth pictures uh, for me to be able to do that. Like I said, only criticism I have for this one is that magwell. If we extend that magwell a little bit, beef up the magazine to make it a little bit more proportional because it just looks too skinny at this point, I think we'd have a, a pretty good looking STG44. Thank you, Trey. Uh, if I remember, I'm going to link your music channel down in the description below. If I forget and you like leave a comment or just DM me on Discord and I'll try to remember to get around to it. So thank you. See you guys later in another YouTube video another time.